Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Seath Water Cave. But before we do, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I still did nothing. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and open up our map. Before we start making our journey to the Seathwater Cave, we're going to head over to the Volcano Manor. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to go ahead and talk to Lady Tanith real fast. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> We're gonna come over here. Raya is gone, but he's not. First, let's pick up this red letter, and then we're going to talk to Bernal. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept... I'll next see you on the field of battle. Okay, we're going to come over here. And then over here, we have Raya. She's looking quite different. Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual, despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Let's go talk to Lady Tanith. Is 
If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Hmm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Okay, that's all we can do in the Volcano Manor at the moment. So what we're going to do is before we fast travel to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, we're going to put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right over here. Our second marker is going to be right over here. Our third marker will be right here. Fourth marker, we will make it right about here. And then lastly, our fifth marker will be right over here. Now let's go over to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. I'll see everybody over there. Let's hop on Torrent. We're going to take this path down. Veer off to the left again. This time we're going to hug the cliff side towards the northeast here. That way we don't get the attention of those trolls. Hug the cliff and you'll be going in the right direction. Hop up here. And then we want to go up this spirit spring. And we're going to go all the way up this time. So here's one. And then we have a second spirit spring right over here. We're going to face this way, jump up, and then hop off Torrent. We're going to turn around, and there is a guy holding a chest. We want to kill him so that we can get a golden rune tin. We're going to come up over here, veer off to the right, grab ourselves some blood grease. And then we're going to come around this big old rock, hop up here, hop up here, hop up here, grab a golden rune four, I'm gonna hop down and we're going to start crossing the bridge. This would be a nightmare for me. This is where my journey would end. I could not cross a rope bridge like that. Let's light this grace. And then we're going to come over here. Be very careful. There are a ton of iron virgins over here. Just going to be grabbing some items. Don't fight them unless you absolutely want to. Try to just dodge their attacks. Get an arteria leaf. Just kind of zigzagging. Keep away from them. Get some explosive bolts. Golden rune eight. And then just keep going. There is a ladder over there to go further up the mountain. But we don't need to do that. We'll be coming back around a different way. For now, we're just going to continue forward into this shack. We're going to get invaded. Anastasia 
is invading us again. For killing her, we're going to get the sacred butchering knife. And then we can pick up Golden Val from right over here. And then we can just run straight west here. Kill that dog real fast. And there's an item right on this bridge. Now we can get to the other side over there, but we're going to have to wait a while before we can get over there. For now, we're going to fast travel back to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. We're going to head up north this time. We're going to be fighting a Tibia Mariner here in just a moment. First things first, let's activate this summoning pool. We're going to drink a flask, our wondrous flask of physic, and then we're going to get close enough that we can summon in, in our spirit ash and then just start running. Don't want to get hit by that stuff. And then the Tibia Mariner probably teleported off to the left here. He usually does. Yeah, over here. Drink a flask real quick, get some health back. There we go. It's dead. Pretty easy. Not a hard fight. So for killing the Tibia Mariner, we get a death root as always. And we also get the Tibia's summons. Want to come over here to the southwest just in this crumbling ruin. Grab a smithing stone five. And we can hop on torrent for just a moment. We'll come up here. We have an item just right here. Get a golden rune three. Continue forward. Grab some stormhawk feathers. And right around the corner here, a golden rune seven. I was going to try to hit him, but I suck, so I failed. Right here, we have another skeleton. Take him out. We're going to have a few more that we're going to have to deal with real quick. Let's get rid of this marker. And then we're going to use this imp statue. Gonna have a couple more skeletons down here to take care of as well. They're not too hard. Pretty easy. ahead and get the Pearl Drake Talisman plus one. Then run to the top. We'll hop back on Torrent. Come out here. And we're going to come up here and then right in this little cubby hole get some dappled white cured meat now right here we're gonna go in these double doors is that skeleton chasing me he is
We're going to light this grace and then we're going to sit at it. That way we can get our wondrous flask of physic back from fighting the tibia mariner. Let's activate this summoning pool. Be very careful. There's a pressure plate on the floor. Don't step on it. And then over here, we get ourselves some Grave Glove Wart. We're going to have a few gargoyles over here. These ones are annoying. They throw like electrical pots or lightning pots. If it hits the water, it like spreads out a little more. Off to the right, we're going to have another gargoyle. Uh, I, I know they're imps, but they look like gargoyles. Come on, man. Tell me they don't. Let's heal ourselves. run through this take out this knight ouch when he does that you want to dodge that lightning attack he has hurts let's climb up this ladder And then up at the top, we're going to have another gargoyle, imp, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to keep calling them gargoyles. Go ahead and use a stone sword key. Get ourselves the lightning scorpion charm. And then across the way, we're going to have another gargoyle. And then off to the right, there's another one. But he's pretty easy to take out. Got a wolf head. And that shield bash. We opened up the boss door. Across the way, there's another imp. We're going to go kill him. So he's not... Ow. That did not go as planned. We want to hop down as it's going down. Or else you're not going to be able to get back here. So as it's fall, like lowering down, hop on it. If you wait for it to get all the way to the bottom and then try to hop on, it's going to raise up and you're going to get hit with spikes. So do keep that in mind. Over here, we're going to be fighting two crabs. They're not too hard, though. Get a charged R2 and then a regular attack. Should take them out. And you can hit them as they're coming up. So, like I said, they're, they're not hard. We'll get the Ancient Dragon Apostle Cookbook. That's our first one. Pull this lever. And then we're back where we started. Don't get a hug from that guy. It hurts. Now we're just going to backtrack. We're going to go take on the boss. The boss isn't hard. It's one of those cat creatures, the big stone cat guys. So, shouldn't struggle too much with it. Be careful again for the pressure plate.
Go ahead and drink a flask. One here. Summon in our mimic. Oh, I was hoping to dodge in time. I suck. Like, you shouldn't struggle, and then the first thing that happens to me is I get smacked in the face. Boom. Done. Really easy fight. We get the glove war pickers bell bearing one for that. Let's go to our map. We're going to come out here. We're going to put a marker just over here. And then we're going to put a marker just over maybe right here. <laughs> right here is where we're going to put our marker. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel to the beginning of the catacombs. We're going to hop on Torrent, and then instead of running all down there and having the skeletons spawn up, we'll just take this rock down right here, and then over here, get rid of this marker, fall down right here, and we have a grace. Let's go ahead and hop back on Torrent. We're going to have a silver scarab over here. This thing is huge. We get the Ash of War Barrage. Here in just a moment, we're going to get another golden seed. Be careful not to step in these big vents of fire. I mean, I think it's self-explanatory, but I'll just say it just in case. Don't run through those. They, they, they kind of hurt. Just a little bit. Get some volcanic stone. Wait, did I pick up that item? I did not. I was like, that's not what I'm supposed to get. Grab a smithing five right there. Be careful for the basilisks. We're going to kill them. If you still have your... Beast Repellent Torch comes in handy right here. Come up here and we'll loot a few things. Right here is another Basilisk. If you'll hop out. Thank you. One more. And that's it. So if you're not worried about any of those items, just skip it. Come over here. Unlock the imp statue and go straight into the Seath Water Cave. This is not a hard cave. It's just got a lot of poison, so make sure that you have flame cleanse me on or you have some neutralizing bolluses one of the two should suffice i'm gonna fall down right here activate the summoning pool take these fools out And then we're going to inch off right here, and then we're going to fall into the poison. Fun times. Going to veer off to the right. Just going to hug the wall for a moment. Be very careful. There are those blob guys or slug things, whatever you want to call them. They will fall on your head, and it will not be fun. Or maybe it will. I don't know. Oh, be careful for that one, too. I almost forgot about that guy. Actually, I did forget about him. I didn't almost. I just got lucky. 
Take out the three rats over here. Shouldn't be hard. They're pretty squishy. And we're going to veer off to the left. Before we take care of those guys, we're going to come over here. And in this little hidey hole, get some preserving bolluses. Not really worried about if I get poisoned or not. I have a way to cure it. Then we're going to fall down right here. We can two-hand our sword now. Won't be dealing with any poison at the moment. We are dealing with poison. Take that guy out. There's that little hidey hole with the item that we got earlier. Over here we got some guys worshipping a Miranda flower. Over here we get the mushroom set, or armor, or attire. Some immunizing cured meat. Wait until we're out of the poison cloud to cure myself here. And we're going to come down here. Just backtrack. And then we're going to veer off to the left. And we're going to go down this hole. Roll off right here. And then we want to roll off right here. And swing. Just a couple rats to kill. And then I know that it looks like a long drop, but you can fall without taking damage. Go to the top here. This is a dead end, but there's some loot. No, I gotta get it. Let's go ahead and drink our wondrous flask of physic. And then as soon as we go in here, we're gonna summon in our mimic tier. We have two pests to kill. They're not really hard, but they can be if you're at a lower level because those things they shoot out suck and they hurt a lot. So for that we get the Kindred of Rot's Exulsion, I think it's called, Exulsion. I don't know, I can't pronounce it correctly, I apologize. Let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the Seath Water Cave. I'm gonna turn around. We're gonna go to the top here. I'm not gonna put any markers down because we're going to be going down a very linear trail. So I just don't find a reason to put them down. So we came from that direction. We want to head to the right and start heading west to northwest. Bunch of zombies are gonna fall right here. But there won't be any extra directions, just head down this pathway with the uh, fire spewing out of the water every now and then. Wait for that to go down.
I don't know what my deal is with not picking up items correctly. Grab that golden rune six, and then right here we're going to light this grace. And then right at this grace is where we're going to end the video. So let me just find a good spot. I think right here is good. Alrighty, everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.